to my channel this girl and and oh my gosh i haven't done this in a while and i'm feeling so awkward anyway you girl did her hair did her makeup you know i just made sure that i'm lookable and you know appetizing to listen to i don't know if that makes sense Looking through the internet the one time was like i need some content i want something we can all relate to and um I was supposed to jot everything down correctly and I didn't so I'll just read as I go and some of I'll read as I go I'll just give you as an insight of some of the questions but mostly I just wanted everyone else to reflect and think of what they would say to their parents or what they wish their parents said to them or how they wish they are it's actually mothers specifically but i'm assuming that there's people that are raised by their fathers and it's just single fathers and whatnot so um let's take it as a thing of parents not just a mother in my case i was raised by a single mother so a mother is the first thing i thought in mind but now that i'm doing this video i'm thinking there are single fathers out there there are kids that are raised by single fathers so let's go um so these are things things i wish i could tell my mother at 18. um some of these i wish i could have um said to my mother she was still alive i wish i could still say them at this age i'm not 18 guys like you dollar man so yeah um the first one was um listen to me it's very sad in our black um community parents don't listen to kids it's not even a thing it's it's not even an option to say you should listen to your kid it's not we are raised um under the same circumstances of parent um kids should listen to their parents why am i nervous oh my goodness i keep on nodding my head Duh. okay um the other one, the other one um says let me breathe um i've got everything under control i know you've got your own problems but to help me with mine i don't want to go to college <sighs> i'm a parent myself if my kid was to say i don't want to go to college i would definitely freak out let me just move back a bit I would definitely freak out but i think parents should learn to um understand their kids if your kid is not the smartest um and you know they've they've got other interests and other talents why not allow them to do what they want to do you never know where they find their interests and what they're really good at so yeah that's a tricky one because who doesn't want their child to actually have a qualification me myself i'm a dropout and <clears throat> guys i don't see myself going back to school unfortunately because i only went to varsity because like that's the only thing we were told to do after high school and then whilst i was there i was like this ain't for me and i'm still out here exploring myself and doing whatever i want to do and whatever i enjoy doing at that moment i changed my mind a lot <laughs> okay so um remember i'm not going to go through everything but i'm going to read out everything so that you guys have a chance to reflect um i know what i'm doing as a stubborn child i was that kid and my mother hated that so so much she hated that so much or if um i would actually tell her i learned this by myself because you know how parents are i'm like yeah well who's the parent here i told you i'm like no you didn't i was a very quiet kid very shy and my mother was a very strict parent like a typical black parent with a dash of extra strictness so you can imagine me in that position but i still want to be, be vocal and be heard that look here don't come to me and lie i did that <laughs> that was me like all the time like i did that for myself i'm good in sports because 
it's my talent you know you know how black parents tend to be like um oh your child is so beautiful and they come back and they're like they got it from the mama oh <laughs> but you get my point right i have no idea what i'm doing I don't think parents want to hear that they don't want to hear you say i don't understand the subject and they were screaming at you that so you don't listen in class so you don't do this so you don't. like why can't we be allowed not to know things or not to have an idea or be allowed to to want to be given extra attention or extra time or extra effort for us to understand certain things why isn't that normal why in fact i even hated extra classes because it made me feel stupid because now that means all the other kids tend to be in class and they understand whatever they've been taught and now i sit there and i know bogerol like i don't understand so i have to stay after school for me to understand that this is, you, you get my point i don't think i i ever even went to any extra classes because i just hated the idea and that time i didn't understand those things like science oh my goodness even today and yes what is an atom it's an don't don't particle hey what is an atom and yes it is now like and I was not going to do extra classes for that because I knew I've got nothing in my world that needs science. Please, I beg. Oh, yeah. So, again, some things I'll, um, I'll refer to me as a child and then some things I'll refer to me as a mother because guys, give me dollar. Um, <laughs> so, the other one was... Do you think I'll be like you? Oh my goodness. If I was to ask my mother that, um, she saw more of my father in me than herself. That's what she would say. That's what she would vocalize. But I feel like I was more of her than anything else. <laughs> we clashed a lot my mother i think she saw too much of me in her her in me and some things made her so angry because she felt like she was correcting mistakes that she has done through me and i didn't understand because i'm like girl i want to do this now or i want to do this this way and then as for my daughter if she was to ask me this question <laughs> um Wait, let me let me read it again uh, do you think i'll be like you <laughs> no no maybe um the face i don't know about everything else my daughter is super smart and then again she's she's got a very different physique as compared to myself i think face wise people say we look alike so um I think to make her happy at this age, I would say yes, because she sees me as her role model. <laughs> I would definitely say yes. <laughs> and then, um, am I already like you? Hmm. Now, yeah, that's tricky. Now that needs a lot of honesty, because if I was to say to my daughter she is like me, I'd be lying. So. I need to be very realistic there. You get my point. Um, I don't want to be like you. <laughs> Guys, would you say this? I would never say this. It doesn't sound okay to say, I don't want to be like you. But yeah, you know, I I love vocal kids. Like, they, they bring me so much happiness because you know how they think. You know what they think of you know you know what they like and do not like, like it, it's really sad for the other kids 
to have to understand now this different kid that doesn't like certain things and it's fair because to think about it maybe I mean, maybe that that specific kid is OCD, for instance. So everything just feels not so clean. So imagine now there's a kid that has messy hair in front of that child, and oh my goodness, and they they rubbing it towards the other kid. That's uncomfortable. That's you know that's mm. so let's let's just learn to allow kids to be vocal because you end up understanding them better and they they find themselves in comfortable spaces i wish i grew up as that kid that was super vocal as much as i like i really tried i really tried being vocal to my mother but at the same time i was scared allow kids to be vocal and not be scared of you as a parent like guys mm, i know the feeling it is not nice mm. The other one is, um, do you love dad? <laughs> hmm. I wish, I really wish I asked my mother this question, guys. I don't know. And now she's late, so I, I don't know. I'll never get the answer. <laughs> Because also, my mother got married after having me. So, she was not married to my father. If my daughter was to ask me this question, you can go to my electric fence at the same time. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a tricky question. Oh, um, I don't hate her dad. I don't hate him i think i've used the word at some point but i don't hate him and we both growing and i feel like we can reason better now but there's certain things like we just can't have conversations about like there's like there's nothing to talk about there because he has said this and he doesn't want me to even try and oppose it so there's that but if my daughter was to ask me this question i would definitely say yes i love her dad because why would i bring hatred into the room especially <laughs> especially reflecting <laughs> what's the word i need the right word to to put and demonstrate this i wouldn't want to transfer and teach my child that um you can you can it's rather not teaching but making them feel like they're not coming from a loving home or rather uh, a healthier uh, background or why did my parents have me if they were not in love and also um, now there's incidents where kids not kids it could be a, an adult it could be a kid in fact they've been raped and your child comes to you and asks you that question because you've probably never told them the truth Uti, this is how you came. This is how you happened. These questions can be very intense. Like I have to say, they are intense depending on the situation or the relationships you have with your child, the relationship you have with your child, the father, your mother, your sisters. You know, it gets tricky as it goes. Why are you always so angry? Oh my goodness. Personally, I wish I could ask my mother this. But again, as I grow up, I I I, I got to understand she was not okay. Like she's gone through so much. And as kids we we never really understood what was happening. I remember, um so I, my stepfather was quite very abusive. I remember them fighting all the time and he would be, well, they would be physical, but obviously she's a woman. So I remember at times I just felt like she would keep quiet. Cause you know, we're in the house, obviously they don't really do it in front of us, but we can hear from our rooms. 
um, I wish she could just keep quiet at times because you can hear the fight as it starts and it escalates. We are going to go to no no nae. Ula. Ula. And then, bah. In my mind, like, I would just sit there like, why can't she just shut up? <laughs> like, I was so angry that maybe if she kept quiet at times, she, this wouldn't happen. And now that I'm older, <laughs> damn i hate myself for thinking like that because why would someone why would anyone tell you to be quiet and not say anything so that everyone else is happier or you know that's not nice but yeah i i, I sort of understand why my mother was always angry towards us as her kids like she never actually spread any hatred or uh, an environment where um it was unhealthy, but we were scared of her. Like, we even knew Uguti when she's sitting at the dining room. Fuck it, gown. Yeah, she had this white gown. Fuck it, gown. I always the Vaseline shine. Oh, baby girl, don't disturb her. Do not disturb her, because. Mama Slambili. Ati Jamna. Yo! And it wasn't a thing of there's no food in the house, but it's a thing of um, what can we eat, bread, or should we cook, or... Because girl was not domestic. My mother literally trained us at a very young age to do almost everything so that she doesn't do anything. <laughs> I always feel like she's very smart for doing that. <laughs> but personally, I would, I, I would want my kids to be kids whilst they're being responsible because... I felt like I don't have time to play or do certain things because I'm in the house being domestic. Okay, we had turns because we four girls in the house. So it's not like I'm always occupied. But I just felt like coming back from school, throwing my bag and going to play, just like other kids. Whereas with us, it was a thing of you come back from school, you probably have to wash your shirt or your socks or whatnot. Because, you know, as kids we lose our socks or our shirt or whatnot and they're not enough for the week and in my school both high school and primary short sleeve is summer long sleeve is winter you don't mix them up and also um summer socks are different from winter socks so there was no way if you lose any of those things that woman's gonna buy them because you four kids and you all lose those things <laughs> so yeah at times, you had to come back, wash your shirt, wash your socks, do the dishes, and then, yeah, man, there was always something to do, like, literally every day. I mean, when I turn away and homework, I'll skip the homework part and watch TV <laughs> to make my life more beautiful. Um, next, <laughs> do I really make you that upset? Yeah. You see why I actually had to do this? Because I relate a lot to like these things, the ones I respond to. Um, I, I, I know what I did. I really made my mother angry. I know for sure. Like, <laughs> it was me, no stool, the other twin, one of the twins. Studa was quite very messy and you know she's just that kid on my mommy. And with me, I was always opposing my mother all the time. Like I'm always challenging her. If she buys my dress, I don't want it. Maybe. <laughs> that was just me. And I don't know why I did that, but that was just me. I know I made her angry. I know. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Nah, I wouldn't want to say this to my mother. <clears throat> you never been in my position. Yeah. But I don't think I would um, be very vocal about it. But I just felt like... Um, I just felt like she never really understood me enough. Like, she understood that Anile is the person. She likes certain things. But she didn't want to support that. 
get my point. So yeah, I just wish at times you could just be in my position and think the way I do and understand why I think and do things the way I do. Okay, um, there should be more. I just need your support. I know I've, I've cried before. My mother has never seen me play any sports. And I remember the one time, oh my goodness, I, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but I remember the one time. Whew. <laughs> Guys, you see when I say that I relate to everything happening here, <laughs> I meant this. Um, I remember the one time, I think it was my last match in primary playing it well first team and she said she's gonna come and watch me she's never seen me play she's never seen me in the athletic field and it's not like i was casually doing these things i was really good in sports in fact i think she came she came late i was done with my game and I couldn't be angry at her because she was ill, ill, like, she was weak, she couldn't even do much. <sighs> a part of me was angry, but then I was like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, till this day, that, that thing is in my mind that I can't believe my mother has never seen me out there and maybe she would understand why I'm crazy about sports and why I did things I do like I would even <laughs> oh my goodness I need a teacher I would even like I know twice I stole money from <laughs> her card because she didn't know I play sports anymore she didn't want me to and now there were many events where i went on tours and stuff and i didn't have money <laughs> luckily enough i had really nice mates like like aluta i think it was mostly aluta and i that were in tours if not it's her, myself, you know, Miss Ava, and then at times, you no, know, Alto would be there. <sighs> like, <laughs> you know, we grow, we, we differ and stuff, because I don't spend time with these people anymore. At least, Alota, I keep in touch, and when I'm in Cape Town, we hang out and stuff. And then, as for Alto, yeah, we talk, but there's no relationship like that. But, like, I always have it in my mind, Ubuti. Wow, these people are amazing. And they were only just kids, like myself. They wouldn't mind sharing or um, allowing me to sleep over at their houses so that I'm closer to um, school and we all wake up together and stuff. Guys, I appreciated that, like it's still there in my mind like oh, wow <laughs> anyway um <sighs> let me just wipe off and be cute again please <laughs> sorry okay guys it's not like i can do much um it has to dry on its own unfortunately so it's so because i decided to be all emotional um let me see how far we were tell me everything will be okay even if it isn't yeah and um when i i think it's it's better coming from your mother or your father saying everything's gonna be okay you don't want you don't really want to hear that from a friend 
from a parent like it means a lot because we, we tend to trust our parents more than anyone else so when they say things they actually mean a lot so definitely i would, I would want to say that um i don't like it when you tell my secrets about my sisters the only problem my mother had was she would tell our secrets to the family like girl i really wish she would just deal with us in private and not even think how she has to lie that we're good kids but there's certain things that will demolish your confidence you done because you're always exposing them to people like some things are really embarrassing i did it yes but it's embarrassing why are you telling people about it i really hated that but amongst ourselves my mother was a person of unity when it comes to us as her kids like she she's always wanted us to be united she would never say anything bad about the other or say something she's not supposed to talk about to the other that that was just my mother and also i think because um we were still babies in fact young i don't know how it was going to be now because some things were going to be really private and i don't want my older sister to know or my younger sisters to know like you know as you grow there's certain things probably i for instance let's say i have a miscarriage and i don't want to talk about it i don't want anyone to know about it but i'll tell my mother you get it next thing she comes and tells everyone or tells the one sister and you know boundaries guys i think parents should understand that keeping things private is different from keeping secrets or rather um, hiding things there's keeping certain things private and then there's hiding those are two different things please respect kids respect their privacy um what's the other one um do you tell my sisters my secrets <laughs> okay this one i think i've already covered it in a way <laughs> but as a question though <laughs> in fact you say your parent gossips <laughs> that's what you're trying to find out do you gossip about me <laughs> i wish you were happier yeah i wish i could tell that to my mother like my older sister and i reflected times and like if she was here now oh my goodness i think she she would have enjoyed seeing us now and experiencing us being more of her friends than her kids like i do believe if she was still alive she would be happier now like i always just believe that because because then we were kids we didn't understand much we didn't really pay attention to certain things um so yeah that's that so if you are 18 or about to be 18 or still going to 18 i'm challenging you to ask your parents these questions not all of them but some of them at least five of um how many did i read out i think i read out about 30 questions so just ask them some of the questions and hear what they're gonna say um <laughs> I know some are very tricky and um, some parents don't want to be asked questions. They don't want to talk about certain things. And that's unfair for the kids. Guys, let's not do that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Toodles! <laughs>